IHGN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves. Welcome back to yet another episode of Braves Beat. I'm Jake Summerall. And I'm Sailor Betts. Hey, Jake, did you know that there's only 13 days till Thanksgiving? 37 days till Hanukkah. And 40 days till Christmas. Sounds good to me. Let's get in the news. Congrats to the Braves marching band for placing second out of 27 competing bands in the MSBA championships. They also won best percussion. A two and a half hour bus trip did not slow the dogmen down this past Saturday. They earned a triumphant 61 to 32 win over the Kenton Wildcats to advance on to the second round of the state playoffs. Tomorrow, the dogmen take on Wyoming in the most highly anticipated matchup of the year. The game is much closer at Princeton High School at seven. Pack the stands and be loud. Go Braves. Thank you to the sophomores for participating in Redo Day. This should be a day you will always remember as a Brave. Shout out to all the high school and middle school staff, administration, and district office personnel for supporting the special day. Indian Hill FCA needs your help. The canned food drive in partnership with Free Store Food Bank started yesterday and will run through December 2nd. We need to fill three 44-gallon barrels, so we need a lot of support. All of the canned food items may be donated in any of the three large yellow barrels, one in the main lobby, one outside Mr. Witt's room, and one in the cafeteria. And seniors, listen up. Check in with Mr. Witt or Doc Watt when you donate your canned food items to receive extra credit for your AP Literature class. Tell all of your friends, classmates, and support those who are less fortunate this holiday season. Now let's check in with Jake about Kids Fed. Hi, I'm Duke Weiler. I'm Jory Yao. I'm Callie O'Dell. And on November 19th, we're holding a school-wide packing day where we plan on packing over 4,000 sacks of food. You can sign up for community service hours on x 2 Vol to help prepare the classrooms on Monday, November 18th. We recommend you pack in an assembly line, and the following video will show you how to pack the sacks. Once finished packing, freshmen must take their sacks to the van in the science neighborhood. Sophomores will go to the downstairs loading dock and juniors and seniors will go to the front door. Thanks so much for helping during the holiday season. If you have any questions, contact any of us or Andrew Schwanekamp or Mr. Schoenauer and we'll help you guys out. Hi, I'm here with Jake Schoenauer and today we're going to show you how to pack the sack. Alright, so first you get your first graham cracker and you're going to go place it in the bag on the long side. Just like that. Then you're going to take your second graham cracker and put it on the taller side. And then here you have your peanut butter, and there's some room in there where you can put it in there. And you put it in between the space of the graham crackers. And take your mac and cheese and place it in there on its uh, back like that. And then you top it off with the fruit grain bars. And then after you're done with all packing of the foods, you then fold the paper bag as so. And then place it in the plastic bag and tie the plastic bag and it is ready for drop off. NHS is selling coupon books to benefit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. The books contain coupons for a variety of stores and restaurants including Dick's Sporting Goods, Madison Bowl, Barnes & Noble, Macy's, Donato's Pizza, Skyline Chili, and Penn Station. You will also receive a one-year subscription to digital coupons through an app. Books will be sold at a price of $25 and half of the sale price goes to our fundraiser. Want to discover your teacher's secret talents? From now through next Friday, place your used shoes in the front lobby in the box of the teacher you want to see perform in the talent show. The nominees are Mrs. McCarthy, Mr. Millard, Mr. Siebenhaller, and Mrs. Savage. The teacher with the most pairs of shoes in their box will be the winner. All donations will be sent to the Souls for Souls nonprofit. Good luck, teachers. Special congratulations to these Braves who committed to further their academic and athletic careers at different universities this past Wednesday during MP. Great work, Lady Braves. Last week, Courageous Conversations presented at the All Ohio Counselors Conference in Columbus, Ohio. Their session consisted of how the student group at Indian Hill collaborated and facilitated Be Brave Day, a school-wide program that focuses on identity. Congratulations to Marjona Ashrova, Dylan Cunningham, Nick Lane, Rama Sardar, and Jonah Sorcher, and a special thank you to Miss Jackson and Miss Sarah. Great work, Braves. Here's your weekly reminder. The Smile Club needs everyone to donate plastic bags to turn into sleeping mats for the homeless. The drive will end in December, and collections will take place every Wednesday and Thursday. It takes a lot of bags to create one sleeping mat, so if everyone in the school donates just two to three bags, we can create mats for at least five homeless people this winter. If you have any questions, contact Vandada Rastogi. 
November is Native American Heritage Month, and this week we'll be talking about how Native Americans contributed to sports. Jake, did you know lacrosse was invented and spread by the Iroquois and Huron people who lived around the St. Lawrence River in New York and Ontario? Well, lacrosse is one of the oldest sports in North America, and it's still popular here today. Well, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. Don't forget to come out and cheer on your Braves at the football game tomorrow at 7 at Princeton. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian Hill. Do you know what's the capital city of Taiwan? <laughs> yeah, is it Beijing? No. Is it Taiwan? <laughs> it's China. Is it Taiwan? Taiwan is the... <laughs> is it Taipei? Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. you're so smart. Now, what is Taiwan's national animal? <laughs> <laughs> the panda? <laughs> I didn't eat that, but I heard about it. I don't know. I don't know. The red panda? <laughs> Sharp claws and furry. Is it a tiger? Uh, I have no idea. No, what is it? What is it? Um, it's a black bear. Yeah, it's, okay. it's similar. Do you know the population of Taiwan? 25 million. It's close. Really? <laughs> 40 million. 69 million. 26.5 million. Oh, 24 million. 21. 20, 23.5. Uh, what's the answer? The answer is 23 million. I was close. What's up, Coach Eli? Can we ask you a question? Sure. All right. Do you have anything to say to the students for this week's game against Wyoming? Well, the game hopefully will give us a chance to play in the state finals. We have to win over Wyoming, and we have one more opponent to get to the state final four, so we're looking forward to it. Thank you. Beat the Cowboys.